That's one on the world chat. What is happening today, boys? And give myself a coffee, dude. Let's go start the machine. Uh, new curves. When we think about alien civilizations, Excuse we tend to look into the vastness of space to faraway planets. But there is another incredibly vast dimension that we might be giving too little thought to. Time. Could it be that over the last hundreds of millions of years, other civilizations existed on Earth? Indigenous technological species that rose and died out, and that they or their artifacts are buried beneath our feet. What does science have to say about this, and what are the implications for us? Life on Earth has existed for I'm here. I'm 4 it. billion Ooh. years, mostly as single-celled organisms, until some 540 million years ago, the Cambrian explosion heralded the age of animals. A huge time window for our indigenous aliens. Where would we look for them, and what could we hope to find? Sadly, we have only one civilization to look at, ourselves. Anatomically modern humans emerged around 300,000 years ago and probably lived in small groups of hunter-gatherers slowly spreading around the world. Progress was slow and our lifestyle didn't change much, although there may have been local bursts of complexity. Until about 10,000 years ago when the agricultural revolution changed our lifestyle forever, enabling massive population growth and technological progress. That's really done. Rather than just animals with culture and tools that would have been invisible from space, we changed the face of the planet, cleared forests and constructed cities and temples for our gods at breathtaking speeds and scales. Until about 300 years ago, we became an industrial species, and yet again our numbers grew exponentially, as did our impact on the planet. We could say that our 300,000 year long history has three phases. We were hunter gatherers for 97%, farmers for 2.9%, and industrialists for 0.1% of Wait, our history. And yet, we are super new on Earth. On geological timescales, even the sturdiest things lose their durability. The oldest large-scale surface is the Negev Desert, a meager 1.8 million years old. Everything older has been crushed to dust or turned over and it's either below the ground or covered by ice or ocean. Our age, the Anthropocene, will be a layer only a few centimeters thick in a few million years. If there were aliens before us, and they too went through these three phases, what would remain of them? What can we learn about indigenous aliens by looking at ourselves? Hunter-gatherer aliens. We actually know that in the last few million years there were hunter-gatherer aliens. Our ancestors, like Homo erectus, and cousins like the Neanderthals or Denisovans, and probably many more that we haven't found yet, or are lost to time forever. They left fragments of their bodies, of weapons and tools, and even art. Considering how long they existed, and how little remains of them, although they lived not that far from our present, it's easy to think there have been others. Intelligent animals like us, that could talk and use tools and fire, that had culture and art. Homo erectus! For the last two million years, most hominins lived as hunter-gatherers. So if these aliens never moved up higher on the tech tree, hundreds of different species and cultures could have existed without leaving any traces. Their artifacts lost to biological and then geological processes. At worst, they would leave absolutely nothing to be found after thousands of years. But what about fossils? We talked about how unlikely the process of fossilization is in more detail in our dinosaur video. But in a nutshell, per 100,000 years of Earth's history, we only get a handful of good fossils. So we might easily just miss fossils of such people, but even if we had any, we wouldn't necessarily be able to identify them as hunter-gatherers. Mm. Agricultural and empire aliens. Looking at humans again, agricultural societies left much more to be dug up and found because they used more sophisticated tools made from sturdier materials and had to feed millions, leaving many more artifacts. Farming allowed them to specialize and develop tech from writing to navigation, architecture and government. Over thousands of years, city-states became kingdoms and empires, some existing for millennia before they fell. 
Many of the buildings or monuments they constructed are still around and traces of them will guys, exist. Guys, 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 how many layers to the Colosseum? Yeah, five seconds. Five, four, three, two. You're right, it's four. For a few thousand more years. It's four. Some only as outlines in the ground, but still recognizable to future archaeologists. The pyramids are piles of limestone so massive that they will probably be around for hundreds of thousands of years. And because of the greater numbers of humans that lived during our farm Chat. and empire period... Chat, wasn't the limestone or whatever so well polished whatever at the, at the time that the pyramids, it like reflected light almost and it was very brilliant? We can expect way more fossils and artifacts to be detectable, maybe for a few million years before they That's vanish. That's kind of cool. So we can say with confidence that no such indigenous alien civilization existed in the last few million years, because otherwise we would have found something that they left. This still leaves a window of hundreds of millions of years, back to the emergence of complex life where we wouldn't be able to tell. If there were alien pre-industrial societies and empires on the level of the ancient Romans or Chinese, they would have likely disappeared without a trace. Their tools, even advanced metals, would have rotted away. If they dug up canals, cleared forests, and built cities, their traces would be very hard to distinguish from nature. Maybe there was once an empire of cephalopods occupying impressive cities chat. and swamps and chat. lakes. When I was a kid, chat, I, guess I thought I thought that they could be civilizations or whatever. They're so small, we just can't see them. We just can't see them, right? Because they're like insanely small. And I kept going, I would go in the garden or whatever, and I'd back, and I would go like, Dude, there's a there's a bunch right here. Boom! Did it! Boom! Boom! Did it! And I was like, dude, got him! Got him! Got him! And then I was like, I was like, I was like, I don't think anybody has ever touched this place because there's people. Boom! And then, I'm not kidding. I, made from wood I would do that because because I thought maybe they're just so they're just really really small. Cities, their poets reciting poems in a language of colors. Maybe uh, they never industrialized. Story. Maybe their society was too stable, or not inventive enough, or they never got a chance. A single event like an asteroid, an epidemic, or an ice age could just have deleted their civilization, ground up their temples as their soft bodies rotted away. Sadly, we don't have the tiniest amount of evidence for any such civilization. After a few million years at best, their achievements would have dissolved into nothing. Industrial indigenous aliens. What about industrial civilizations like humanity today? Imagine humans died out suddenly through a pandemic or cosmic rays or something like that. It's the same thing, right? They would what still find remain? it. Our impact on the planet is orders of magnitude greater than that of our ancestors. Yeah. The fossil record will show a great extinction of wildlife and an explosion of fossils from human-associated animals like rats, cows, pigs and chickens. Like the structures of our ancestors, skyscrapers and streets and hard drives will basically crumble into nothingness in a few millennia. But because there were so many humans everywhere for a few million years after our sudden end, there would be clear hints of our existence. Yep. The byproducts of our industrial lifestyle might actually give us away for some hundreds of millions of years. We use massive amounts of artificial fertilizer, which redirects Earth's flow of nitrogen that is being deposited in the soil. Mining oh. metals and rare earth elements leaves long-term scars and depletes natural resources. And you, you'll be able to track that with tools. our oceans with plastics that find their way to the ocean floor and may persist for hundreds of millions of years. There are radioactive elements and their decay, unnatural accumulations oh, of elements that don't exist outside labs or weapons. We and of course, in our short industrial history, we have changed the proportion of CO2 store. in the air by burning massive... Imagine donating, hinting at the fact that I probably read a book. A book that I wasn't... And on top of that, a fucking English book, motherfucker. I know we know books, it's really not English ones, Increasing right? the acidity of the oceans, and so on we may already have left a mark in the geological record. So far, we have found no traces of an industrial alien civilization. No layers of weird chemicals or displaced elements. No radioactive layer to indicate that once great nations waged nuclear war. So we did here. see mass extinctions and massive shifts in the fossil records, but no evidence that they did not occur naturally. And ironically, we've hit upon an interesting problem here. If industrial societies stress the ecosystem enough to cause their own extinction, they won't be around that long. 
But Sorry, if they become sustainable, their imprint on the geological actually... record may be tiny. Dude, imagine dude, they were all just any we know hey, about man, is so small. For ages, man, dude, just that... wanted to say, boom, have everything in the leaders is like. Chat. It is awesome, man. It's just Much small. If past industrial it civilizations small. were sustainable before they died out. Yeah, but imagine that everything, everything that we know and see and can think about is like a very small portion, but it's like a big thing, but all of it is just like, is like in a bubble, right? You know, you know, you know how bubble you blow, like, you know, bubble? In, in like, some giant's life, right? Like, we imagine. may have little to no chance of ever knowing about them. In any case, over hundreds of millions of years, these signatures may become very subtle and get overlooked or interpreted as natural. Even if an industrialized alien society existed 200 million years ago and lasted for 100,000 years, 300 times longer than industrial humanity, it still might be easy to miss it in the geological record. In any case, all of this is speculation. In the end, we shouldn't use our imagination to trick ourselves into thinking we know anything about our blind spots. Just assuming a thing happened because we don't have evidence against it is a trap we should avoid. So, for now, if we look at the vastness guys, of the guys, and now, guys, I'm getting scared now, guys. I'm, I'm getting fucking... Dude, I, I hate this, guys. Now I'm thinking about that, the, the, the origin of everything. You know, like, like Big Bang shit, whatever? Yeah, but... but dude! Did, you know what he does like about this shit? Again, it's gonna go as crazy. Devoid of aliens like, as the vastness like, why are we of even? Like, why are we even a thing? Why, why are we even like, like, uh, like, like beings? How does that even get there? And what was that anything but before? But before, and it's like, but why? You know, you know, but why? But why? Dude, dude. Yes. But, stop Maybe it. Maybe we are stop. alone. Dude, in dude, this it's breaking my brain. Always were. But, but not only why, right? But why not? At the same time, but why not? Maybe we'll find traces of others eventually. We don't know. Why but there did, is one. In why did it all happen? What did it? And if and if and if it didn't happen, if it, then what? Is there something else? Is there another thing? Is it? But that thing doesn't make sense. It isn't something to 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 to, to frame it, right? It has to be something. Hey, Felix, but I'm visiting why this? All soon and and then boom, we're here. But why? Some but why? Recommendations. Important takeaway: the continuation. If it's a nothing, if it's a nothing, then that nothing is in what? It needs to be contained in something, right? Guys, as I'm losing my mind, I'm losing, I'm losing my mind. If there's a nothing, it can't be a nothing, because it has to be contained somewhere, right? How do you have a nothing? You need to have a something to have a nothing, guys. How do you how do you know that your pocket is empty? Because you you have a pocket and you can be something in it, right? And, but you cannot have a nothing. You can have something to contain it or whatever, right? Because then, it, then it would make sense. What would it be? What would it be then? All rock, all all solid stone, all uh, or metal, or what is it? To have nothing, you must have something. So how is it the beginning of everything? It's about to have a beginning of everything if you start with nothing. But how do you get the first something, dude? Civilization is not guaranteed, and if we're not, but how do you get the first something? Forever. Let's hope that in a few million years there isn't another civilization studying our layer in the fossil record. This guy is dumb. Dude, dude, imagine this, this. Touch yourself. Look, look, touch, touch. This, this, this is the best we got. This is the best that we could come up with. All the universe, all the crazy, all the, all the, all the, all the, all the, all the fucking insane fucking materials of, of everything in the, in the world. And this is the best that we could come up with. Some, some organic fucking moving piece of dog shit that dies after a hundred years out of bazillion years of, of, of creating. Is this all we got? Uh, is this and and what? Oh no! You have you have no you have no more blood, so you then you, you die. Is this weak? Cr is all we get? Is all we have? Take the reality of it is is that XQC even if you L. even if you could live indefinitely, you wouldn't want to. You you guys you would be riddled with all sorts of fucking mental challenges, illnesses, depression because you would get bored. You'd get so bored. Imagine you you were three hundred years old. You saw everything 
all the, all the music, all the whatever, and everything that comes up is just kind of like another. Okay, cool. Sad. You've seen it all, and you're just you're just bored. You're in. You're insanely bored, dude. Why would you want to live forever? 